Alright guys, what's up this morning? Uh, different day, uh, doing what I wanted to do actually the other day. Came down to uh, Old Man's Cave, gonna hike around a little bit. Uh, it's really dry since, it's been years since I've been down here, but it's really dry and they changed the trails up a lot on it. Uh, a lot more guide rails and shit up in place to stop people from getting off the trails. Which I'm actually not on the trail right now, but I wanted to get a bit better view, so I had to go off trail. I'm gonna go back on now. I'm gonna try to do about four or five miles worth of hiking today. And then head home. Uh, old lady, me and my dad helped out the other day, she's taking us out to dinner tonight, so can't be out too late today, but check in here in a little bit with everything going on. <laughs> Somebody's been out here stacking rocks. For anybody that follows Bigfoot or anything related to Bigfoot, uh, a lot of people try to say that as a sign of Bigfoot in the area. Uh, it's their way of marking things. I think it's bored people in the woods. Yeah, just bored people in the woods. Definitely nothing to do with Bigfoot. But that's just my opinion on the matter. I'm not on a TV show or anything, so I'm not an expert. But made it to the actual original part of Old Man's Cave itself. It's just standing up there a second ago. Uh, normally there's a waterfall coming down that, but apparently because it's late in the year and it hasn't been raining as much, there's nothing happening. So it's kind of boring down here right now. I'm gonna go hike around a little bit more. Hopefully I actually find something interesting today. A little over two and a half miles in, made it to Cedar Falls. Uh, still actually has a little bit of water running, unlike Old Man's Cave. Uh, found more Bigfoot evidence along the way, excitingly. Uh, several spots along the way, there were more rocks stacked in the creek. So who knows? Maybe this is a big hot spot for Bigfoot down here. May have to sneak in one night and hunt around and see what I can find. But I'm gonna take a different trail on my way back. Uh, this trail actually got really hard at one point. Uh, like, I thought I lost the trail several times because it was just pure rock face. And I felt like I was actually scaling a mountain, which isn't something I'm up to doing. But I rested for about five to minutes, and I'm going to head on back now. Look at this. We got some more Bigfoot evidence. Look at the way this tree's ripped out of the ground. The only thing that could have possibly done this was a Bigfoot. There's no possible way this is anything natural. A human being did it. This is a Bigfoot warning us. Don't step off the trailer, he's gonna take us out. We gotta be careful while we're out. Look at this. We've got another marker. There's a big alpha male around here somewhere. I don't know what we're gonna do to find him, but might do some tree knocking here in a minute. Just the signs for Bigfoot being out here are real strong today. Can't remember what the name of this lake is, but this water is clear as fuck really want to go swimming in it, but I don't think it's allowed. Because up here nothing seems to be allowed. But, uh, yeah, I'm on a detour right now and I don't really know why they didn't have any signs up. They just say, oh, you have to go this way now. And it's an extra two kilometers. And it's not really a very well marked out trail. So, who knows if I'll ever make it home, but I'm thinking while I'm walking through the woods and Today's adventure seems to have turned into mostly about Bigfoot. I'll tell you about the time I saw Bigfoot. <coughs> uh, it's in the woods by my house. Uh, it's in town. And uh, not very thick woods, but I assume it was on a migration path or something at the time. But I was riding my mountain bike. Uh, stopped for a second. Looked up and about 60, 70 yards away from me, 
standing by a tree. This is a great big brown figure. I didn't really think too much of it when I saw it, and then I looked back up again once my brain kind of processed what I saw, and it was just kind of sauntering away <sighs> through a field. Uh, kind of collected my nerves. Went over to the tree where I saw it was by. Now I'm six foot one-ish, depending on the day. And uh, yeah, the branch that this thing's head was by was about three feet above my head. So it's probably wider than me and I've always been a big guy. But yeah, that's the uh, one time I've personally seen Bigfoot. Heard some weird shit when I was in the woods before, but never seen anything else. How is it still two kilometers? That doesn't even make sense. It was two kilometers earlier. Oh fuck, I'm screwed. Great news. Just went a mile and a half out of my way. There was absolutely no reason for me to walk through that area. So, yeah, I'm a dumb fuck. Yeah, I'm probably gonna fucking uh, break one of my legs later so I can't go out and do this stupid shit again. Fuck, why don't I ever think things through? Bigfoot around here might be a record breaker in his size. That fucking tree trunk's the size of my thigh. I can't believe it would have the strength to bend that down. Whew. Oh, so many mistakes made today. I ended up 5.9 miles. Like I said, that loop I took around that lake was wholly unnecessary. Uh, I took no water with me, so I'm fucking dehydrated as shit. My feet are fucking killing me. Like, I don't even want to drive home. I just want to fucking lay down and take a nap here, but there's so many fucking people here. Some of them probably think I fucking killed myself and I have to deal with the cops. But yeah, I'm just gonna go home, take a shower, and then, uh, fucking drink like 14 to 15 gallons of fluids. Alright, back home for the night. Um, needed something to finish off the video there before I get it finished editing and uploaded there. Um, went out to dinner at Texas Roadhouse. Near, not near as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, sometimes I'm good with people. I usually hate being around them, but it was okay today. And uh, off the video today, I'm actually a huge, huge believer in Bigfoot. Um, I don't like most of the shows for it because I think they make a mockery of it, but... Personally, myself, I am 100% dead set that Bigfoot does exist somewhere. Uh, same with ghosts. Uh, really anything paranormal, UFOs, all that. I pretty much believe in anything to do with that. Um, I've had a lot of weird experiences in my life, and we'll get into stories between some of the weird things I've had happen and stuff, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, upload this onto the editing, get it up on there, and get it uploaded tonight. So, see you guys next time.